Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through my desk setup for 2021. If you're anyone like myself, you've spent a little extra time working from home this past year. So a home office and especially a desk setup is really important. And I hope you guys enjoy watching. And as always, everything that I talk about in today's video, all the items, etc., will be linked down in the description below if you guys wanna check anything out for yourself. And while you're down there, drop this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Those things really help the channel out, but let's dive into this desk setup. So I like to start these videos out talking about the desk itself. And of course I had to hit up Ikea for my desk. You know, a lot of people do, but that's for a good reason. You can get some pretty good quality stuff without paying a ton of money. So the actual top is a butcher block style piece of wood. I just love how it looks. It came unfinished and I actually left it unfinished. I like just kind of having it naturally wear in over time. I love the texture of it. I think it looks clean and I use it for a lot of my backdrops and YouTube thumbnails or maybe B-roll sequences in my videos and also for photos over on Instagram as well. Now to support that, I have two Alex drawers on either side. Now here in my home office, I honestly don't have a ton of storage. So I try to get creative and take advantage of any space that I can. So the Alex drawers were a perfect fit. So in these drawers, you'll find a variety of things, everything from just a bunch of cords and cables. So that way, if I ever need something, I just can go to that drawer and find whatever I need. A bunch of hard drives, maybe some camera accessories. And I always try to keep some snacks around because whenever you're in the zone in an edit, you don't want to stand up and have to go get something. So I always try to keep a couple little snacks nearby. Now moving on, let's talk about the main piece of this setup that grabs your eye first. And that is going to be my ultra wide monitor. Now this is a 34 inch ultra wide monitor from LG. I picked this up about a year ago and I absolutely love this thing. I love the extra real estate for when I'm editing videos or maybe I'm editing some photos and I wanna have something else up on the screen as well. Maybe I'm watching a video or maybe I have my Apple notes open. The possibilities are endless, but now that I've had an ultra wide, it, it would be really hard for me to go back to not having one. And since the monitor is USB-C, I can just have one cord going from the monitor to my MacBook. It keeps it charged and then it just displays everything to the ultra wide. Super important for my workflow. And we'll dive into this a little bit more in a second, but I also do have a second computer on my desk. It is a Mac Pro. That is actually my work computer. And the nice thing about this monitor is I have my USB-C plugged into my MacBook, which is my personal work. And then I have my Mac Pro plugged in via an HDMI cord. So then I can just switch back and forth between the two computers. Super easy, super seamless. And I know that's common for a lot of people because especially if you're working from home right now, just in the time that we live in, a lot of times you're gonna have a personal computer and a work computer. So it's kind of nice to be able to have both of them plugged into your monitor at the same time. You don't have to like change a cord back and forth all the time. You just hit a couple buttons, switch between the two and you're off to the races. Now I did actually decide to make it float. So I picked up a monitor arm. Uh, I believe the brand is called Vivo. It's super sturdy. It helps keep my desk really clean, but I like just having that monitor off the actual desk itself with a monitor arm. It just looks a little bit more clean and it doesn't take up as much room on your desk either. So let's talk about the main workhorse of what my setup actually is. And that is my 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. Now I've been a MacBook Pro user for over 10 years now. I actually worked at the Apple store for a couple years back in like, let's see, 2011. Previously, I had a 2018 15 inch MacBook Pro that was fully decked out, but then these M1 started coming out and the performance out of them are just absolutely insane. I do plan on doing a full review of that computer here at some point, but I'll give you guys a little spoiler. It's amazing. It's actually insane how much more powerful it is than my 15 inch MacBook Pro. There's really only one thing that I'm not a huge fan of, and that's that it only has two USB-C ports. So it's working fine for me as of now, but I'm definitely going to be looking at some of the higher end and hopefully the 15 or 16 inch M1 MacBook Pros that come out later this year. And as I mentioned, I have my work computer on the other side. It's just a 2013 MacBook Pro. It is the trash can. At this point, it's getting a little bit outdated, but it's my work computer, so I do keep it on my desk here. Let's talk about some of these awesome wood accessories that I have in my setup. Shout out to the people over at Grove Made. They actually reached out to me and sent some of these items over, which ended up just being the perfect time because I actually had some of these items in my cart just waiting to check out previously before they reached out to me. Now that I received the items, it definitely took my setup to another level. So up top here, we have the wood desk shelf, which I love it. It really just kind of helps separate the layers of your desk a little bit. I like keeping some things under it and keep some 
some things on top of it. Up top, I have an Anchor wireless phone charger so I can have my iPhone sitting there while I'm working. It's kind of off to the side and out of the way. Underneath, I have a couple things. I have an Amazon Echo, which is one of my favorite tech products that I own. I actually think currently I have five or six Echoes. I have one here in my office, one in my living room, one in my kitchen, one in my bathroom, one in my bedroom. So if you ask it to play music everywhere, it just plays it seamlessly throughout your entire apartment or home. And it's just a really cool feature, especially if you're having people over or having maybe a little house party. It's just a fun thing to have. But I use it all the time if I just wanna know how to spell something, if I wanna know what the weather's like or anything like that while I'm sitting here working. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it took me a while to find a sound bar that I liked. I actually tried out a couple different ones and I kind of settled on this one right here. Now the sound bar is from a company called Mica, or maybe it's just M-I-C-A. Again, it'll be linked down in the description below. It's relatively inexpensive. I like the way it looks. I like being able to have the volume control on the side of it. And a lot of times I have my headphones in anyways, so I didn't really need a crazy high quality soundbar. I was looking more on the budget side and for the dimensions that I wanted it to be. Now the cool thing about this desk shelf is it actually has a little shelf within its shelf. On the top layer, I actually keep my iPad Pro. This is an 11 inch iPad Pro. This thing is super powerful, but I gotta be honest, I don't use it as much these days since I picked up my N1 MacBook Pro. I use it a lot more for just entertainment or maybe I'm doing analytics stuff for my YouTube channel. But yeah, it perfectly fits my iPad Pro and Actually, this shelf fits my 13 inch MacBook Pro if I wanted to slide it in there as well. Right underneath that, I have the desk tray from Grove Made. Uh, this is a really cool thing to just kind of also clean up your desk and keep it organized. Within there, I just keep some things like post-it notes, maybe an SSD, maybe some pins or Sharpies. That way, if I'm working on stuff and I just need to write a quick note down, I use post-it notes all the time. So I just love having this on top of my desk and it keeps it clean and minimal at the same time. Now on top of that shelf, I have the wood dock from my MacBook Pro. Again, it just matches the walnut vibe for the other pieces from Grove Made, and it just looks really clean. You guys may notice that my MacBook Pro is actually flipped upside down, and you might be wondering why. That's because, again, the MacBook Pro only has ports on one side, and I wanted to have it on this side of my monitor, not on the other side. So I had to flip my MacBook Pro upside down so that USB-C could plug into the MacBook and still kind of be hidden behind the monitor itself. Now, the last piece from Grove Made that I have is this wool desk pad. It is the dark color and the medium size size. They have a smaller one and they also have a large, which I think covers like seriously your entire desk. So the medium was the perfect size for me. I think it just looks really cool in photos and videos. I love the contrast from the dark color wool to the butcher block of my desktop. It looks really clean. It works perfectly with my mouse and keyboard, which I should mention are the Apple Magic Mouse and the Apple Magic Keyboard. That's just kind of the combo that I've been rocking for a really long time. And that's just kind of what works good for me. And I think the space gray of those look really clean on that wool desk pad. And Grove Made was actually kind enough to give me an affiliate link. So if you guys go through my link in the description below and pick up any of their items, it supports me and it doesn't cost you guys anything extra which is pretty cool. And I almost forgot to mention what I'm actually sitting on, and that is the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2. They actually sent this out to me not too long ago, and I love this chair overall. I do plan on doing an actual review of this chair after I've spent a little bit more time on it, but I do wanna say I really like this chair, and it's quite an upgrade from my IKEA computer chair that I had previously. It's super comfortable, it's breathable, and I can sit here all day long if I need to. Now, the last piece I should mention of my setup is the energy drink that I'm rocking today. This one is from Go Energy. It is the Sour Patch Kids Blue Raspberry. It's kind of funny, but energy drinks have just kind of become part of my daily routine, especially my YouTube channel. I'm big into the fitness world, and also whenever I'm editing videos here at my home office, I like just having something good to sip on as well. So this has been my go-to as of late. But guys, that is my desk setup for 2021. As I previously mentioned, Having a home office here and especially a desk setup that I really enjoy sitting down at and working long hours at, because honestly, at this point, I've predominantly been working from home for the better part of the last year. So if I'm sitting here working on my normal day job tasks for you know eight or nine hours, and then I wanna work on some personal content like my YouTube channel into the evenings, easily I'm here in my home office at my desk for some days between, I don't know, 10 or 15 hours, which is crazy, but that's just kind of how life is right now. So having a space that's organized, that's clean, that's surrounded by things that I love has become so important to me, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. As I mentioned, everything that I talked about in today's video will be linked down in the description below if you guys wanna check out any of these items for yourself. I highly recommend all of them, but no, in all seriousness, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, will you please drop it a thumbs up and also subscribe? 
It really helps the channel out. And also I plan on doing an office tour here in not too long, so you guys don't wanna miss it. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and make this desk messy again. I'm gonna get back to work and I will catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. Peace guys.